Hey guys, it's Aaron. Uh, we're now just one week away from the launch of Spinner Rider 5.0 and we're all just so excited about it. We're going live on Tuesday, October 21st and I'm sure you guys will love the awesome new features that we've integrated. Uh, to tell you the truth, we've been working crazy hard for a long time now, but I'm super happy to say that it's definitely been worth the effort and some of the new stuff is really awesome. So uh, enough of me talking, let me just show you a couple of the upcoming 5.0 features that will make you even more productive and it will help you generate spun content that's just amazing quality. So let's start right here in step 1. I'm guessing most of you are already familiar with the actual user interface, so I'll just point out the stuff that's new, right? So uh, all too often our users come here to step 1 and they're faced with this huge empty input, input field and maybe they don't have any articles that they could enter and spin and they just stare at it and they don't know what to do. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy to say that I believe we've solved this issue for everyone now. Let's say I need some content about um, guitars because I'm trying to promote my website with guitar lessons and songs with chords and so on. But I don't have any articles on guitars that I could spin. Well, I can click this new link right here, the one that says fetch a new article. When I click it, this new screen pops up, and as you can see it's got a search box. I can simply enter, say, guitar chords, and click fetch. And just a couple of seconds later, I get literally hundreds of articles about guitar chords. And let's say I like the look of this one. It says here it's got 568 words. Let me just click fetch this article, and here we go. We've got a brand new relevant article sitting right here in the input field, and waiting to be spun into thousands of articles. And we made this possible by integrating the big content search database of hundreds of thousands of articles into step one of the spinning process. And all of our awesome users, such as yourself, will be getting free access to take this new feature for a spin. Okay, so now we've got a relevant article. Let me show you something else. Let me move to step two of the process. I'll just click start. And <laughs> we're done. Did you notice how quick that was? It used to take like 4 or 5 seconds, but we've basically brought this processing time down to 1 second, which is an 80% improvement, and this was very hard to do, but I think it was more than worth it. And it's not just faster, it's also even more intelligent, and it recognizes the actual meaning of the words and phrases even better than before, so it's just an improvement all across the board. Uh, okay, so we are in step 2 now. And I'm sure you're familiar with the one-click rewrite option, which kind of takes care of everything for you. And it picks the best synonyms and it just does the job for you. Uh, well, if you've been using the one-click rewrite option, you'll know that it takes about 2 or 3 minutes to, pro to process a regular 500 word article like this one. But uh, we've done something pretty awesome here too. If you take a closer look here, you'll see that we've, got, uh, we've now got a brand new option, Hyperspeed. And by enabling this new option, you'll get the exact same awesome quality out of your one-click rewrites, but instead of taking 2 or 3 minutes, it'll now take you just 9 seconds. So <laughs> let me show it to you. Okay, uh, let's, let's click right here and look at how quickly it's processing the article and it'll be done with it before we even know it. So we've now covered the new fetch a new article feature plus two major major improvements when it comes to the speed of Spinner Rider. But I've still got other awesome new things to show you, so let's just move straight to the step 3. Here we are, and once again you're probably quite familiar with the interface. Uh, here in this text box at the top we've got our spun article that will be used to create all of our new articles. And by clicking the Generate a Unique Version button, these new articles get created and they're displayed in this text box at the bottom. But you might have noticed that we've now got this new button here, in the middle. And it's similar to the button in step 1 that enables all of the ENL semantic spinning features. And here in step 3, it does something quite similar. It enables a bunch of new breakthrough features that will take your content to the next level. So let me show them to you right now. You're probably already familiar with the first option we've got here, because it was already available in previous versions of Spinner Rider. But this second option right here, it's brand new and it's very powerful. By enabling this option, Spinner Rider will analyze your article and determine if it can reorder the paragraphs while making sure the generated unique articles still make perfect sense. So for example, it will never move the title or any subtitles in your article 
And if you've got an ordered list in your article, for example, a number of steps that need to be followed when cooking something, Spinner Writer is not going to change the order of the steps. But if you've got some paragraphs that can be reordered, it will intelligently switch them around to make your generated articles even more unique. And if you've got some unordered lists in there, like a, a list of the ingredients you need to make a pizza, it will also change the order of the items on that list to make sure your new articles are even more unique. So that's just a super powerful new feature and it took a lot of effort to do it right. But again, I think it's going to make such a huge difference and it was definitely worth the effort. Uh, and I also wanted to show you this final option right here. The one that says fetch relevant videos. You can now just click this option and again, this new screen looks quite familiar to, to the one in step one. Here you can just enter the topic of the videos you want to insert into your articles. Say I'm looking for videos about guitar chords. Uh, I'll just type in guitar chords and I'll automatically get a list of relevant videos. And then you can just click the videos you want to use. And you tell Spinner Writer how many of those relevant videos you want to include into each of the new articles that it'll generate for you. So let's say out of those five videos, I want Spinner Writer to use two videos in every new article it creates for me. Okay, insert, and we're all done. And we can now click the Generate a Unique Version button. As you can see, we've now got a number of new options here at the bottom. You can quickly check if your new article passes Copyscape. And in the 5.0 version, we've also built in a top-of-the-line grammar and spelling checker. If there's something wrong with the grammar or the spelling of your new article, it'll let you know and you'll be able to fix that with one click. And finally, you can click the Preview button. And you'll see that we've got a brand new, completely unique article about guitar chords, along with relevant videos, and we've done all of that in just a couple of minutes. So uh, this was a sneak peek at the upcoming Spinner Rider 5.0 features, and I hope you guys are as excited about them as I am. And again, the 5.0 version goes live on Tuesday, October 21st. And uh, thanks for being one of our awesome users, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!